truck won't crank again. He said again. Does the look on Gary's face really come across as how distraught he is? Where'd you break down the other night? At least it was a good place to eat. Where'd you break down? The Bulldog in Arkansas. The Bulldog. Did it make you want to throw your cheeseburger up when you found out your truck wasn't cranked? I did. I threw it up out in the parking lot. <laughs> Damn old power stroke. He said, I'm tired of this piece of junk. One little O-ring will keep it from running. But we're about to find out what's going on though, right? Yep. So we got to pull his degas bottle and everything and then stick the air tester, or not, sorry, pull his degas bottle, get his Ficum unbolted but plugged in, then crank the truck back up, let it get totally up to temp so that it is a crank no start, pull the IPR real quick and air test it. All right, so Gary's little bit of a long crank at times has now turned into a crank no start hot once it cools off it will crank but it is a long crank every single time so it's steadily getting worse so we got something leaking so i'm gonna do like i always do and people ask about how you find these leaks like this take your degas bottle get it off take your air intake off get the ficum totally unbolted where all you have left to do is unplug it and then crank the truck up and run it until it's totally up to operating temperature to where it doesn't start then you can quickly unplug the ficum, pull the IPR, put your air tester in there and test it while it's still hot enough to find your crank no start hot. Because you, you gotta have it in the condition where it doesn't start to hear the air leak good. Otherwise you're gonna be kind of hearing air leaks everywhere or thinking you're hearing air leaks or imagining it and chasing it around everywhere. So that's what I do when I have a crank no start hot. All right, air testing right now. It would not start. It would build about 460 before we pull the IPR out. I was wanting to get it hotter so we could hear it even better, but it would not crank back up. So you hear it more out of here. Of course, you know, you got some restriction with the crankcase vent compared to this side being a straight shot, but you still hear it more over here. So I think we're going after the driver's side is what we're going to go after. All right, I'm going to attempt to show you all this. It's hard to see, but if you look, The easiest way to find the leak, you just fill this up with whatever oil you're running, put the air tester on, and just squirt it all over that rail, and it's going to run up underneath it, and then you're going to be able to see and hear where the oil is bubbling and gurgling up. So we're going to pull the stand pipes, dummy plugs, and the high pressure oil rail now. And then we're going to take a look at that injector O-ring and that nipple cup. Make a decision on to do both or one or the other. All right, so we have resealed the injector, new copper, new O-rings, the new upper injector O-ring, and the old one is right here. You can see how eroded it was. That was our problem, but we got some pretty loose nipple cups here also. Probably taking one out, but we got the HHC diesel tool here that takes it out and aligns the new cup up. And we got a new set of alignment uh, O-rings for this also. So we're gonna bust all these out, put them in and then retort them. Same Spanish, can you translate this, brother? You speak good Spanish, right? No habla. He's just fluent in redneck, that's all. I am damn good at redneck. 100 foot pounds. Damn, did you shoot? No, I didn't. You gonna fan that out of this? Is this a Patreon video? No. <laughs> and these are the HHC diesel nip nipple cups. Alrighty, they're not just smooth. They have this extra lip, which is supposed to prevent when this does start leaking from eroding that upper O-ring. Well, it didn't do it, though, did it? Well, either that or the upper O-ring was just shit already. Grease them up, Gary. Let me get you a good little shine on the teeth there, bro. Hit the, hit the top. Look at this one. <laughs> What is that? Right now we're fishing in Gary's 
high pressure oil rail. Sure good with that grease gear. He got uh, three, three of those that this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Always jokes it on a minute. That looks good and clean to me. Turn it up so they can see what's in there. Can't go too far, we'll get a little over there. There you go. And the new one? Yep. Hey, sit down in there. Just sit down in there. You just kind of remind me of the Charlie Daniels song. Just sit down in that chair right there and let me show you how it's done. <laughs> I got it, Gary. You want it? <laughs> I know. Diesel Tech Ron always said not to reseal these. So well, buy a whole new fuel, a whole new rail just because of the O ring. That's what Ford would like you to do. Ford would love for you to do that, Gary. That's probably $600. Or who knows, really. I'm not so sure. I'm not really sure. I've never bought one. So this tool has that hole in there, which goes up on the nipple, and that's what lines it up so that you don't have the nipple cock one way or the other. So just go along, get them all snug with your hand, and then we're gonna go along and torque them, which one of the instructions there say, Gary, 100 foot pounds? Put specs on, Gary, give it to us. Retaining nuts to 100 foot pounds. You strong enough to hold this? I hope I am if I ain't. As soon as you back to Memphis, let you go back through the weight training program. I'm just here for ready? comic relief. Keep holding it. Don't give up on that. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. Don't feel like you turned any of this once you break the pump. Two clicks. I gotta check it, okay? Every time, two clicks. Where are you going? I look like you're gonna you do the shuffle. I don't know if I'm gonna need to move. That's all I got to say about that. All right, we got our injector that is all sealed back up, put in, torqued down to 26 foot pounds. It is very important to make sure you blow your injector hole down, bolt hole out so that there's no oil in it so you get a correct torque. We're gonna stick our injector plug back up through the head, plug it back in. We'll put our high pressure oil rail on, torque it down, stand pipes, dummy plugs, and we will catch up with y'all then because then we'll be back in business just about throw this back together and here a run. Hey, Gary. You ready? Yeah. I like that custom seat cover you got. Yeah. Where'd you get those at? Amazon. Amazon? Cardboard seat Alright, we're all together. So only thing y'all missed, put the high pressure oil rail on. Torque at 10 foot pounds. Stand pipe dummy plug, 60 foot pounds. Put the valve cover on, put the pick them on, IPRs back in, all plugged in and everything. We left the air and take off just till we know we're good to go. No, we didn't open the fuel system. But you're gonna have to crank on in a minute because that whole system is full of air. I bet it's gonna take you low pressure. Yeah, it's gonna take low pressure in a minute. As soon as that low pressure comes up, it's gonna start. Where's the low pressure at? That one in the top left. start
car coming. Believe it or not, I'm driven. Okay. I used to drive to Avon. It's like this scared shit out of the nation. Well, it helps me have some air in the front tire, though. They was well the last time we got to the hospital. I think you got a tire on pilots, too. I wouldn't doubt it. Or Highway 70 didn't the tires. I think it's a direct tire. Or discount tire on the 64. She's making 37, almost 3,800 when you get down on it. 38 pounds of boost, you mean? No, 3,800 on the ICB. My pressure won't look healthy. Still got air in it. I hope all your dreams come true, Gary. Alright guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video on getting Gary's truck back and going. Y'all please tell him not to sell that truck. I love that truck. If I didn't have so much stuff collaborated all around here, I would consider buying it. But Gary's really thinking hard by getting rid of the 6.0. I don't know what he's going to replace it with. Whatever. Anyways, y'all check out other content on the channel here. We appreciate y'all watching. Check us out at automaticgarage.com, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're not a member of our Patreon, Consider visiting it if this channel has helped you fix your truck or you enjoy helping produce content like this or just want to help support the channel. We'd appreciate that. So go check us out there. This is Automatic Garage signing out. We'll holler at y'all later.